Bovine blockage. Welcome to Runcorn. Today we'll be operating a passenger service to crew. Hello everybody and welcome back to a another Train Sim World 2 video. Here we are once again on the Spirit of Steam route. <laughs> it is quite loud right now as the train is venting a whole bunch of steam. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, turn this on. Um, uh, but yeah. It has been a decent amount of time since I recorded that last clip, and I'm now hopping on the scenarios here. I have learned quite a bit. I do now know what the blower does, and we also have the uh, the dampers down here. Um, I went ahead and set the options so that I control these. Um, usually the fireman does it, but I figured that it'd be best if I controlled them. Because the AI sometimes doesn't really know what they're doing, so... That's all fine and good. But yeah, it's good to be on this route. I know this is supposed to be a Derail Valley video. But I said um, in my SnowRunner video er earlier this week that my VR set is a little um, banged up. So yeah, that's going to have to wait. So yeah, we're doing this. Right, we're doing this. And yeah, let's uh, head down the line here with some passengers. Okay, we got the reverser full forwards. We got the brakes. Let's go ahead and release the brakes. The small ejector is fully open. We can open the large ejector, too. That works. And also apply a bit of regulator. There we go. We can go ahead and close the blower as we apply regulator, because we don't need it. Uh, we can apply a bit more regulator. Close the large ejector. There we go. And off we go. Okay, a bit more regulator. Okay, we can also close these. And there we go. Nice and quiet now that we're leaving the, the station. Okay. Yeah, now that we got some power behind us, it's nice and quiet. I'm going to apply that up a bit. So yeah, we actually got a fireman, or fire a woman, um, in the train with us here. <laughs> I know before in the tutorials we actually didn't have anybody, but uh, it's good to actually have a, a, an NPC in here. That's nice. But yeah, I'll be controlling all the, the blowers and uh, dampers. Uh, because yeah, you can... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But yeah, no, you can in the um, control guide, or I think it's the options? Yeah, in the options, the settings... Um, you can actually have the, um, auto load. Oh. Turn that off. Steam firing, yeah, there's a steam firing mode. We have it to manual, assisted, or automatic. So, yeah, if you do manual, then the fireman won't adjust that stuff. Uh, the blowers and other things. Yeah, they'll still, uh, put, uh, put fire in the, or put coal in the firebox. I keep on saying put fire in the firebox, but no. They'll still put coal in the firebox, but just... Yeah. You have control over the blower and stuff. If you adjust that mode, which is nice. Okay, so we're going to open this up a bit more. Go ahead and crank this back a bit. And what we can actually do to get a bit more power is it's down here. The rear dampeners? No, I want the front dampeners. Apply that a bit. Dampers. Um, so yeah, the dampers is what gives us more power. The blower actually just blows off steam, so... Yeah. So we want to make a bit more steam. Our pressure's kind of low. We'll go ahead and increase the front damper. Yeah, that looks good. You're looking great. Yeah, put some more coal in there. Thank you. Yeah, we're looking good here. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the regulator to full. Go ahead and take that front damper. Here you go, 100%. Beautiful. Blower is closed. And we can go ahead and crank this back to... We don't want to go below 25%. So 30% is actually a good... A good thing for that. There we go. But yep, we seem to be maintaining a steam pressure. Quite nicely. Oh yeah, we're not, we're not gaining any speed because we are actually going down a pretty... We actually are going up a pretty steep hill. Alright, I did just realize that. Okay. 
I'm like, why are we going that fast? Because we are going up a pretty steep hill. Right, right, right. But oh, there we go. Chugga chugga. Oh man. This is this is just this is just awesome. Love steam trains. So yeah, we don't want to use the blower unless we're coasting and we don't want to generate steam. But actually we probably don't even want to use it at all right now, because we we're using quite a bit of steam right now. Okay, how do we get some more speed? Uh, can we pull up the, the rear as well? Would that help? Oh yeah, that is helping. Okay. Pulling up the rear one, as you can see, our steam is now going up. So that is good for us. Uh, I wonder if going more forwards would put some more... Put some more steam in the cylinders. I know it's less efficient, but I should put some more steam in the cylinders, allowing us to get more speed. Maybe. Not sure. I mean, yeah, the regulator is fully open. We are going max speed here. Um, live injector water. Exhaust injector. Okay, I think we can actually uh, open that up. That should increase. There we go. Yep. Get some more water in there. Yes, yeah, so that increases the water, and then we also can open the the exhaust water. Um. Uh. Yeah. Exhaust injector water valve. I don't think we. I don't think we want that. I think that's good to slow down. This is what we want to speed up. I'm just gonna go with that. Very nice. So yeah, I might get on with a bit of a time lapse here. As we are just kind of going kind of slow right now. Our destination's a little bit further, a little, a little, a little ways away. It's quite a ways away. So yeah, I think, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this nice external view. And yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, I'll see you guys at the station. Whoa. Oh, is there a tunnel? Oh yeah, there's the, there is a bridge. Okay, that kind of freaked me out for a bit. I'm like, why is the camera suddenly getting closer to the train? <laughs> okay, it was just a bridge. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, time lapse. Go. Okay, we are approaching Acton Bridge. Just gonna go ahead and shut both these off. All right, and the rear, there we go, because we don't need those anymore. Go ahead and start coasting. Okay, so we are in coast mode. Okay, we are ready to initiate braking mode. Easy. Easy. Okay, nice. Ooh. Driver, the signal is calling us over. Let's see what they want. Okay, uh, I think it's fine. You stay here. Um, yeah. let's, let's see what's happening. Um, signal error, okay. Yep. There's a fourth of cow on, on the up line. We think they have the situation under control now. I'll route you onto the slow line. Sorry, it'll make your journey a bit longer. 
And can you inform the signalman at Hartford, at Hartford the station, the situation too, please? Okay. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. So there's uh, cows. Um, reported cows. Okay. So gotta avoid the cows. Okay. Stop at the location, Hartford. Okay. Okay. Let's get ready to go. Oh, fully open the large ejector. Fully open both ejectors. Close the blower. Get that steam built back up. Okay, ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, close that. Brakes are fully released. Okay, we are good. Start off nice and slow. And build up some speed. Okay, let's go ahead and close those. Let's get our speed up. Pull it back a bit. Oh, there are the cows! Oh, yeah, there they were. Yeah, I didn't see them because they were on that side, but yep, those are the cows right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, they were on the fireman's side, so... Didn't quite see him. Okay, but there we go. We've passed that, uh... Obstacle. Let me go ahead and decrease the, the, uh, the regulator. Yeah, go ahead and close the regulator. And we'll just kind of coast for a bit. We'll let the steam pressure build back up. Um, so we won't turn on the blower just quite yet, because, yeah, we are... We could use a bit more steam pressure in the good old cylinder. We don't got a lot of it right now. That's our vacuum. That's not our steam pressure. Um, is that our steam pressure over there? That might be our steam pressure gauge over there. Um, I'm not sure. Either way, we need more. We need more pressure. Thank you. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Get some more water in there. Yeah. Live injector water valve. Yeah, okay. Exhaust injector water valve. Don't know why we'd inject water into the exhaust, but sure, if we needed to do that for whatever reason. I want to go ahead and pull the steam brake real quick. Just kind of lose a couple miles per hour. There we go. Good. Saves us having to use our uh, slow applying vacuum brakes. We can just pulse the independent brakes a little bit just so that we don't overspeed at this 25. Yeah, no, nah, this, is, this is certainly, uh, yeah, very nice. Okay, there we go. Station up ahead, 0.9 miles. Maybe I will just go ahead and put a bit of regulator. 20%. Okay, good. I don't know if I have to do that if the train's in motion. I don't think I have to if the train's in motion. We weren't we weren't putting steam in it for a while, so. But I think if the train's in motion, it's fine. I just think it's an issue if the train stops. Um, yeah. But we can still blow some steam out the front if we want. Okay, good. We'll we'll just coast here. We'll just coast from here. We'll leave the dampers on to build up some more steam pressure. But yeah, we're good here. Good stop. Beautiful. Okay, we'll go and let the signaler now. Oh, wait, hold on. That's the wrong doors. Okay. Boop. Okay. Yep, okay. Go and, tell, go and let the signaler know about the cows. Okay. I just come from Acton Bridge to check on the cow situation. Looks like they've herded the cows, but they're still quite near the tracks. It's probably not safe to open the lines up yet. Thanks for the report. I'll, I'll inform Acton Bridge. Okay. Let's go turn to our seat. Hey, look, a train is coming on this way. Okay, passengers almost done loading. Beautiful. Okay. Go and lock the doors. And we'll get going here.
Okay, Winsford. Open that up. Release the brakes. Front damper's still pulled. That's good. And we're ready to rock and roll here as soon as these brakes get released. Actually, we probably could start applying a bit of regulator. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, there's the other train. Hello. You waiting for the cows? Yeah, they're waiting for cows. Okay. They're waiting for ca cow clearance. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm going to get on with another time lapse now that we've passed that cow situation. I think it's about time we get on with a another uh, time lapse. So, yeah. Let's go. Okay, so here we are pulling in to crew. Going over this little junction right here. And there it is. There's where we're pulling into. We got the train configured, ready for stop. We are ready to stop here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this now. Guess we don't have to worry about it later. Blow the horn! Gotta be careful, because there's probably going to be a red zone right over here, past this green, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is. That's quick, though. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Doors. And okay, get all on the station. That's pretty good. Okay, that's all for today. Hopefully the li hopefully the up lines can be cleared and open soon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they can. I don't know if you guys saw during the time lapse, but there was a <laughs> utter chaos. Um there was um yeah, there was a lot of trains backed up there. Okay, silver, not bad. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all.
So yep, next we will be doing the next scenario next time. Let's go ahead and just hop on and take a look, see? Oh, they were quite a bit away. I wonder what we- I don't know if we know what we did. It's not like we went- we oversped or anything. Huh, interesting. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, yeah, here we go. Turn tables have turned. Turn the Jubilee around at Crew North Sheds and couple up to a passenger service at Crew. So we got a bit of a train build in there. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.